with his hands in his pocket and him kind of smiling and the, I want to show the graphicness of it. I want to do more art that's a little bit more um, violent because what has happened to him, it's symbolizing it. So it's very important to show the blood, put the women in positions of power and girls fighting this. And then like the separation of the gates is just the barbed wire of the two different worlds, George Floyd's daughter. So, um, because she said, like it was so sad and so powerful when she said, daddy changed the world. The balloon represents saying goodbye to her dad. And I just felt like to, to try to explain to people, to little kids about this seems like very, very sad. And they, when, when they learn about racism for the first time, and I was reading research is that even as a baby, there's cues on how children understand race. So it was just like kind of saying goodbye to her childhood and all the problems that she's going to have to deal with because of this. Craziest part is that for the first time ever, I wasn't posting it to please other people or to get likes. I was posting it because I felt like I had to because I felt like art is the thing I go to in these situations. I did portraits of four men. For example, one of them is George Floyd and it's his portrait and then over his mouth are his last words, which is obviously I can't breathe. And then alongside I wrote their stories, like a short summary of what happened basically. I'm trying hard as of lately to have deeper meaning and use my artistic voice to actually say something because I think for a while I didn't say anything with it. And now I see that it kind of does matter and that people do hear it.